and welcome to Wildcats Action Mills. I'm Sanai. And I'm Ava. Today we're going to be starting off with classroom update. Let's move over to Aubrey and Mrs. Walcott's room. Hi, I'm Aubrey here with Mrs. Walcott from 2W. What have you guys been working on? Oh my goodness, Aubrey, we have been busy second graders. We have been working really hard in math. They're working on three-digit subtraction with regrouping, and they're doing fantastic. And we've also, in science, been playing with magnets, and they've got a little surprise coming. What subject do you enjoy teaching the most? Oh my goodness, with this being my first year in second grade, I think I've enjoyed all of it, kind of learning and exploring with them together. What's your favorite part of it, 2W? You know... I think I have to say the spirit of this class. I just love seeing their excitement and learning. I have a little friend that's been sharing jokes with me and they really have taken to the kindness cards. So that has been fantastic just to see them grow and see their spirit. I'm here with a group of 2W students. What is your favorite part of 2W? To do the blocks when I do math how we can learn more um, when we spread kindness. I'm here with another group of 2W students. What do you enjoy learning the most? Math. 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 Why do you guys like math so much? Because I like learning about new strategies and skills. It helps me when there's harder stuff, it helps me with subtraction and addition. It can help me because every time, sometimes I get I'm confused at subtraction, so that's why I really like math. Well, thank you guys. It's great to know how much they love second grade. Now it's time for this week's weather. Welcome to this week's version of Weekly Weather. Let's send it over to Cooper with this week's weather. Thanks, Carter. Today you can expect a high of 51 and a low of 34. On Tuesday, temperatures can get as low as 24 and as high as 35. On Wednesday, expect a high of 31 and a low of 25. Also on Wednesday, there's a 50% chance of snow. On Thursday, temperatures can reach as high as thir of 32 and as low as 23. And to wrap up the week, you can expect a high of 35 and a low of 25. Let's send it back to the newsroom. Thanks for tuning in for this week's version of Weekly Weather. Thanks, Carter and Cooper. Now let's get to this week's quick quiz. How many men have walked on the moon? Twelve men have walked on the moon. This week's top story involves an interesting item in our building's basement. Our very own summit caught up with Mr. Wright to find about the water weight kiln. Recently, we had an opportunity to visit Mr. Wright in the art room. He gave us a behind-the-scenes tour of his kiln and some information about it. How long has a water weight have a kiln? Uh, kiln? The kiln's been here about 40 years. Why do you use a kiln? We use the kiln to turn clay uh, into a material that's called ceramic. It's much more permanent than just clay. What type of kiln do you have? Our kiln is an electric kiln. It's made by the company, a uh, company called Scut. And I'll open the lid up here and you can take some, take a look inside to see what it looks like. If you notice, Along all these edges here and inside these grooves, there you see the little spiral wires? Those are elements. An element is just a, a wire that's wound up very tight, very similar to the inside of a toaster. If you ever looked inside a toaster uh, when you're trying to toast some bread, you see these orange lines. It's the exact same thing, except it gets a lot hotter in here than it does a toaster. How hot does the kiln get? This kiln gets about 2,300 degrees, maybe a little bit more. Are there different types of kilns? If yes, what type do you have? Our kiln is an electric kiln. 
as you can tell, uh, plugged into the wall. There are kilns that are fired, and firing is the process of heating the kiln up. Uh, there are kilns that are fired by wood. Uh, there are kilns that are fired by oil or gas. Uh, some of the kilns, uh, our, our kiln from start to finish uh, will run about 10 or 12 hours, then it takes about 10 or 12 hours to cool down. There are some kilns that are fired by wood that will last 25, 30 days. Uh, just by, and that's the amount of time to throw the wood in. So then it'll take another 25 or 30 days to cool down. So you're looking at two months from start to finish. It was great. It was great interviewing Mr. Wright. Now let's head back to the newsroom. It was neat learning about the kiln. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Joke of the Week. What do you call a pig that does karate? All the time that we have for this week. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Wildcat Action News.